Hello, my name is Keter. I'm going to give a brief introduction of gyroscopes. To begin with, what is a gyroscope and how does it work? A gyroscope is a device used to measure angular velocity. Let's take a look at this device. You can see the gyroscope spinning steadily at any tilt angle. And this magical phenomenon is attributed to the conservation of angular momentum. In the figure, you can see the inside spinning wheel has an angular momentum in this direction. And the gravity force gives a torque in that direction. In order to increase the angular momentum to the vertical direction, which changes the spinning axis and makes the gyroscope rotating. And this is the basic concept of the mechanical gyroscopes. In applications, such as airplanes, when they have a tilt angle, the gyroscope will maintain its spinning position. So we can measure the angle variation. However, the mechanical gyroscopes have disadvantages, such as friction effects and measurement errors. So there are two different advanced gyroscopes, which I will illustrate next. First, I will focus on optical gyroscopes, and let's look at this animation. This is a beam splitter, which allows some protons to go through it, and some will reflect instead. Then the beams will reflect through mirrors. Normally, the protons will arrive at the sensor simultaneously. But when we rotate the device, surprisingly, one will arrive first, and this is called signal effect. Optical gyroscopes are based on measuring the two beams phase differences when the gyroscope has an angle change, and there are two common kinds of optical gyroscopes. One is the ring laser gyroscope, which have the same concept of the animation. And the other is the fiber optic gyroscope, which replaces the mirrors with optical fibers. This device improves the accuracy by excluding the influence of friction, vibration, and etc. Also, they are light and durable, so they are immensely applied in aircrafts and satellites. Okay, let us move on to another type of gyroscope, the MEMS gyroscope. There are various kinds of MEMS gyroscope, but I will discuss two major kinds of them. One using capacitors, and the other one applying piezoelectric materials. Let's look at this capacitor structure. There is a mass, and there is a driving force. And when there is an angular change, the Coriolis effect happens which will force the structure to move in this direction when the driving force is to the right, and will force the structure to move in that direction when it is to the left. And due to this equation, when the distance changes, the voltage across the capacitor will change. So we can convert the voltage change into angular variation. And this kind of gyroscope are often used in smartphones. On the other hand, as for piezoelectric ones, the structure can be also designed as applying the Coriolis effect, which I will not describe again. But they can also be designed as the ones similar to the figure. When there is an angular variation, stress will be applied on the piezoelectric material. According to the property of the material, exerted stress will generate electric potential which we can convert into angular variation. And they are usually used for measuring vibrations. Although MEMS gyroscopes are not accurate as optical ones, they are cheap and widely used. To sum up, gyroscope can be seen in many electronic devices combining with accelerometers and geometric sensors. Therefore, it is a really useful gadget for us to understand how it works. Thank you for watching the video and hope you learned a lot from it.